Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen, today looking at various game mechanic frequently asked questions, subsuming CIG's most recent episode of Calling All Devs from the 19th of March. Cliff climbing and jump packs are not currently planned features for Star Citizen, though you will be able to traverse some rough terrain both on foot and via vehicle. Commodities and trade. Planning trade routes and the living economy are major parts of planned gameplay for Star Citizen. The star map is getting expanded to have lots of info on various commodities. This will allow you to work out potential profit between jumps, and you'll also be able to go down to each planet and see uh, each of their commodities available and sort of what their prices are. We don't know the range of this data yet or exactly what's going to be shown though. Ship radars are locked to the ship so you can't have a different type of radar. So some have 2D radars, some have 3D. They are going to project the 3D style radars using render detection tech into the 2D format. This basically allows them to have a single radar system across all of the ships and then either display it in 3D or 2D. It's much easier for them to maintain and change and much more efficient going forward. EVA velocity when you jump out of ships is not preserved, nor is it planned to be preserved in the future. In fact, if you leave your ship at the moment at high speed, you're going to be slowed down to safer operating speeds for your EVA suit. In the future, they may look at doing some form of preservation of speed so you can jump between ships, but that's not currently planned. EVA is currently meant to be used for small distance movements in space to navigate areas and a way of simulating mag boots using thrusters to push you down to simulate gravity. E-War beyond EMPs is planned, just not for the short term. Hacking will be a thing, interfering with avionic systems of ships, overriding computers and doors. There may be some more remote control potential of certain systems and ships as well. There will be counters to this too though, obviously they don't want people just to free reign hack ships, and they have previously talked about E-War and hacking not being able to do too much without risk, so you won't be able to remote detonate a ship unless you're literally on board the ship. Jamming will also be a thing, blocking communications, using jamming to help and aid stealth gameplay. This allows for lots of extra gameplay for the Herald actually as well, as it's going to be able to carry huge amounts of non-jammable ultra-secure data that could potentially destroy that data as well if it wants to. If something's capturing it, if something's hacking it, it can go, well, right, this data is too important to get into enemy hands, destroy it. EMPs. Previous to 3.1, distortion damage wasn't set up correctly, causing EMPs or electromagnetic pulses, the big orbs of death, to be extremely overpowered. EMPs are much more balanced and effectively nerfed for 3.1, although they're still reasonably powerful. It's going to take the Warlock and Raven much longer to power up and use their EMPs. This also means we we aren't going to have as much power for weapons and shields when we're using those systems. The blast radius has been tweaked as well and the cooldown has been increased so it's been kind of nerfed across the board effectively. This Thursday's Around the Verse will focus on audio in Star Citizen and the RTV should also be largely associated with that though I suspect there will be some other information garnered. As usual we will break down those broadcasts at the end of the week. Every month we have a ship giveaway for March is for the Outpost Building Pioneer donated by our featured org, Forgotten Heralds, a PMC with a history grounded in UEE military service. Their doctrine focuses on custom in-game training and a friendly, active community. Please check out their org page and Discord below to see if you're a fit for them. They are a great org to join, especially with 3.1 coming up. We also have their org spotlight up, so you can see some more info on that org, um, and they also have a chance to win a Terrapin by watching that video. To be in for a chance to bring that pioneer, though, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then just comment on any of my videos for Star Citizens made during this month. Each video will give you another opportunity to win. Please tell me what you think of the audio in this video as well as I have had it um, severely edited and overproduced somewhat. Uh, so tell me if you like this, like the old style, or want something in between. Do you have any questions about Star Citizen or Squadron 42's development, gameplay mechanics, or suggestions for videos, or anything? Chuck them in the comments below. A special thank you to my Patreons who allow me to create the amount of content I do. I love you guys. If you're interested in becoming one of them, you can find the links to Patreon as well as everything else we talked about below. Also, the new website will be going up pretty damn soon uh, with a variety of Star Citizen infos, so please check that out and feel free to drop suggestions for what you'd like to see on a Star Citizen information website, whether it be ship trackers, um, development trackers and that sort of stuff, or if you want to look for more metadata, or if you want everything in the world. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well, as it really does help me, and I will see you in the verse.